guys welcome back to my channel i feel like i've not done anything in ages um so i've got an unboxing today a little purchase that i made um beginning of this week and it's just arrived again it was an online purchase um so i did actually see it in store when i went shopping last weekend but i had 20 percent discount which you could only use online so i thought it was worth waiting and just doing it then although i was very impatient and i wanted it last week but i resisted buying it in the store i came home and ordered it and got the 20 percent discount so it was worth the wait so yeah so it's an unboxing and it's going to be quite a large box so i have again oh, the box right because because it's online you don't get the nice boxes do you this is the only thing well i've got so many boxes I think I can do without this particular one. So I'm going to leave it on the floor while I open it up because it's too big to keep in my hand and just bring it out of the box. So as you can see, it's a bag, but it's not a handbag. So the purchase this particular time is the Michael Kors Bedford Extra Large Michael Kors Logo Weekender Bag. This is in the Admiral Blue. You can get it in like the brown colour. I'm not sure if that's the official actual colour they call it, but you can you get the picture. It's that brownie colour that a lot of bags come in. Um, yeah, this is when I go away oh, weekends speak for itself so let's um, do all this because I don't watch a lot of these um, videos youtubers I don't do unboxing but half of the time it's not much to unbox because they've added out they've took all the wrapping out of it I actually like to do a proper unboxing um, especially when it comes in a nice box not in a a cardboard box like that one is and it's plain for hour. When it comes in a nice fancy box, then it is nice to do all of it with you. That's what it's all about. So, we have, let's get to the from out inside as well. And then that way then I can show you how much room there is inside. Because as you can see, all the wrapping is still here. So I've not looked at it myself either. Have too many of these uh, airbags, can you? Right, near as damn it. I think that's it. So, we have a dust bag. Oh, it's quite big as well. I actually thought for a minute, I thought they were going to give me a dust bag that would fit it to be honest, but. Because it looked very tiny when it was in, but once you've opened it up, it is quite big. So, yeah, comes with its dust bag. So, inside, let's take the carrying angle off as well. There we go. Final bits. And of course, the good old faithful tag come off. Finally, right, okay. So, inside, lots of room. So we have got one, two, three pockets there. And on the other side, you've got a, a zip pocket. Which I need to be something in there that I'd left, because there always is. And another two pockets there. You've also got one of the uh, uh, angers inside for your keys. That was the very technical name, that wasn't it? Anger inside. I don't know what the official name is. I'm sure you can Google it. And on the side, you've got another pocket, which is magnetised. There we go. Magnetised. And the same on that side. And on the back, again, you've got 
a little pocket there which is magnetized but you've also got a flap with a zip on now what that does is go all the way through so let me show me properly so underneath that that's the bottom of the back you've got a zip and when you open it it goes right through that bit at the back where the pocket is so if you want it as a pocket you've got the magnetized press stud at the top and the zip on the bottom to keep it as a pocket if you don't want it as a pocket you can do the zip and that sits over the handle of the matching suitcase that you can do so that your handle would go up there so that rests on top of the suitcase and your handle of your suitcase would be up the back so when you're pulling it that comes with it as well so you're carrying it so how good's that it really is that now that makes me want to go get the suitcase doesn't it so i'll never be rich never spend 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 so yeah that is that i'm going to get the there with me the strap out so we can have a, a look at this again like i said it's a proper unboxing i'm not going to get any of it whatsoever and it has it's actually been here a couple of days so i think i've done really well okay so it's a plain blue strap um is adjustable i think that's its longest looking at it yeah so it's on its longest there so you could have it a lot shorter if you wanted to very stiff just because it's obviously brand new so let's put it on the actual bag so it just ducks on with the d-rings at the side and again on the other side The actual, the hardware of this bag is absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm not a massive gold hardware fan, but this is so nice. It really is nice. Very sturdy as well. So that's your completed bag. So as I've said, you've got the Michael Kors on the front there with your two carrying handles. You've also got a luggage tag. Okay. So... Yeah, you just put your bits in there. You've got two side pockets. A back pocket if you want it from the top, leaving the zip closed at the bottom or undo the zip so you can put it on top of your suitcase and your handle of your suitcase goes through there. So I will just give you a quick demo of what it's like to carry on the side. So I will just get my camera and try and work out how to turn it around this is the okay guys so this is what it looks like from carrying it from over the shoulder this weekend bag and again of course if you really wanted to you could just carry it like that if it was only had a bits of stuff in it now when i go away for weekends i i never have a bag big enough i'm hoping this will be if not then obviously a smaller purchase maybe to go with it i would like an actual vanity case that matches it but they haven't done it yet whether or not they'll come up with it i don't know but i think i could maybe maybe make a suggestion there to them i don't know whether they'd listen to me but hey you never know so yeah i think that would be a good idea a nice matching vanity case that would be really really good so yeah let's turn it back round and i will just put my camera back so that's the unboxing for today that's the purchase for the day so yeah it's the michael kors weekender bag it's the bedford weekender bag it's got the michael kors logo on it all the way around apart from the strap the strap's just plain blue and this retailing at 410 on their website 410 pounds in the uk so cracking bag can't really uh I haven't used it obviously yet, but I'll let you know 
how much stuff I get in it when I eventually go away for the weekend, which is in two weekends time. Uh, it's only a local one, it's only down to Essex. But um, I'm going for the weekend, so I thought this would come in under to fit my stuff in. And I'll maybe do an update video on it then to tell you how much stuff I got in it. <clears throat> and that's it, guys. So if you like my channel, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell. You'll get notified when I do any reviews on anything. You should know me by now, I do reviews on all sorts. Not just bags, not just luxury goods, everyday goods, beauty tips, anything. You wouldn't think it, would you? No. Anyway, so there you go. So, happy shopping, guys. Definitely one I recommend. You might call Bedford Weekender back. Bye.